Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to tell you how to get rid of these HTML tags that sometimes you get uh, in your Power Automate approval emails. So here's a screenshot. Let me show you first an approval. So here's an approval flow that I already have created for you to show. Uh, if you don't know how to the basics of flow, uh, basics of Power Automate, how do you create approval there? other videos in my channel uh, but for this video I'm going to assume that you already know so this is coming from the SharePoint site it's a very simple uh, SharePoint list and that I have uh, it, it's a test list which I have where I have only two fields title and description as you can see this uh, title is title and then second column description I added as a rich text column and in the rich text column this as you can see I can do rich text and this random letter uh, word I just bolded uh, and this flow that I have it says if I create or modify any item in this SharePoint list then it should just create an approval very simple approval approve this item where it takes the title of this list title column and then in the details it sends title and description so very simple approval flow uh, which i'm assuming you know if you don't just check out my video on approval uh, and other videos related to power automate so let's see what happens let's test this and i'll say i'll test it manually manually means that uh, i'll have to make some changes in this list item any of these two to trigger this and then we'll see what happens uh, so let's go back to this there's no email this is my test email account I'll click on this I'll go here and just for triggering this I'll just make very simple dummy change let's say I just add one here and I'll save so now this item is saved so if this flow works properly it should just trigger so as you can see it's triggering it uh, and uh, it takes some time and it says ran successfully uh, so that means it identified some item is modified and approval is created and let's see what do we get in the email here is the email that I got for approval and as you can see I got this approval title title one as expected but description I'm getting the whole HTML tag I do get whatever I have in the description so this is first description one so I do have that this is if you notice closely this is first description one but it has put different HTML tags and that makes it confusing for us it will be simple if we remove all these html tags and just put this in a plain simple text how do you do it it's very simple go to your flow and all i have to do is insert an action in the middle which will convert this field that i have as rich text into plain text so just look for search for an action I'll type HTML and you see this HTML to text and that's all you need to use for the content I will just take output of this first trigger and since we know that description is a rich text field so we have to convert this all I will do is choose this so output of this will be the text plain text version of this HTML and why HTML because the rich text behind the scene is using HTML okay so now I'll go to create approval instead of description I will use the output of the prior step which is plain text content and that's all I have to do I'll save it and I will test it so for testing uh, all I can do is I can just say automatically with a recently used trigger I could have done manually in that case I could go and modify something there but I'll just reuse whatever uh, I just tested with so it'll just use the data of the previous trigger 
still running it converted this if you notice here you will see that this particular action took this content in HTML and converted this into plain text and if I go back and see my email that I got now uh, you notice that uh, this is now a plain text it's no longer uh, HTML you will see some kind of space missing here that's because that's how this description is here uh, but that's not the most important thing I can always put some space here and get rid of this so uh, hope hopefully this gives you a good idea of uh, if you get these kind of HTML tags you know approval email how to get rid of this hope you found this video useful if you like it let me know how else I can help you if you didn't like it then also I love to know your feedback thank you this video was brought to you by Cloud Attica. If you like our videos, please like, share, and subscribe. For any questions or help, leave a comment down below or email us at hello at cloudattica.com. Thank you for watching.